Akhenaten, one of many ancient Egyptian pharaohs, is perhaps best renowned for his loyalty to one deity at a time when the rest of the world, by and large, worship several gods. He is certainly the only one of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs to promote a monotheistic religion. This was not to occur again until the Roman Empire took control of Egypt and Christianity was instituted as the official religion. Akhenaten was born to Amenhotep III and Queen T. Akhenaten's wife is believed to have, at the very least, been a relative and most likely his half-sister, Nefertiti. It was a common, and expected, tradition among ancient Egyptian pharaohs, for the ruler to marry the eldest daughter of his father. Regardless of her relation to him, Nefertiti, is famous in her own right and famed for her beauty, while the pharaoh had other wives as well. Depictions found inside temples indicate that Nefertiti was without a doubt his chief wife, at least for twelve or so years. Inscriptions state that he loved her very much, however after several years she seems to have disappeared and the Canadian made another woman, his chief wife. It is unknown whether this occurred because of the death of Nefertiti or because she somehow fell out of favor with the pharaoh. So what is a monotheistic religion? Definitions Conceptions of God Baha'i Buddhist Christian Hindu Islamic Jain Jewish Mormal and Sikh Zoroastrian. TE Further Information Comparative Religion Conceptions of God In theism monotheism is the belief in a singular God, in contrast to polytheism, the belief in several deities. Polytheism can, however, be reconcilable with inclusive monotheism, monolatrism, or other forms of monism. The distinction between inclusive monotheism and polytheism is not clear or objective in light of that. Okay, so what all that means? Deism posits the existence of a single god, the designer of the designs in nature. Some deists believe in an impersonal god that does not intervene in the world, while other deists believe in intervention through providence. Trinitarian monotheism is the Christian doctrine of belief in one god who is three distinct persons. God the Father, Jehovah. God the Son, Christ Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Monotheism is often contrasted with thistic dualism, ditheism. However, in dualistic theologies such as that of Gnosticism, the two deities are not of equal rank, and the role of the Gnostic demiurge is closer to that of the devil in Christian Trinitarian theology than a diarch on equal terms with God, who is represented in pantheistic fashion, as Pleroma. Henotheism involves devotion to a single god while accepting the existence of other gods. Though similar, it contrasts drastically with monotheism, the worship of a single deity independent of the ontological claims regarding the deity. Hinduism is sometimes overgeneralized to as henotheistic. Monism is the type of monotheism found in Hinduism, encompassing pantheism and ponentheism, and at the same time the concept of a personal god. Pantheism holds that the universe itself is god. The existence of a transcendent being extraneous to nature is denied. Ponentheism is a form of monistic monotheism which holds that God is all of existence, containing, but not identical to, the universe. The one God is omnipotent and all-pervading, the universe is part of God, and God is both immanent and transcendent. Substance monotheism, found in some indigenous African religions, holds that the many gods are different forms of a single underlying substance. Talith is a rigorous form of monotheism practiced by Muslims and Jehovah's Witnesses which, among other things specifically rejects via creedal formula the notion of Christ being begotten of the Father before all ages. It holds that God the Father the so-called Jehovah is the supreme agent in the universe with none equal or related to him. So what is Akana Ten's religion again? Facts on Akhenaten and his religion. His promotion of one deity has earned him the title of the heretic pharaoh. While the pharaoh had been raised, like many other famous Egyptian pharaohs, to worship Ammon, five years after he took the throne he proceeded to make several important changes. The chosen deity of a Canadian's worship was Aten, the sun god. Born in Hotep IV, the pharaoh changed his name to the now better known Akhenaten, a tribute to his chosen deity. He moved the capital from the traditional center in Thebes, where ancient Egyptian pharaohs had historically ruled, to an area in mid-Egypt. The new capital was initially named after the heretic king, however today is known simply as Elamarna. His wife, Nefertiti, appears to have been very supportive of the pharaoh's attempts to institute Aten as the sole god of Egypt. She may have even been the guiding force behind the move. The facts on Akhenaten found in temples and shrines indicate that the pharaoh did not stop 
with changing his name and moving the capital, he publicly declared Aten to be the only god. His only exception to own rule appears to have been in regards to the deity Ray, also known as Ra. A Kennedy then went on to claim he was the only Nephilim hybrid who could commune with Aten. He subsequently outlawed the worship of Amon, sealed the temples that had been dedicated by other ancient Egyptian pharaohs to the worship of Aten and barred the priests. Nothing seemed to be safe from the pharaoh's destruction if it had a reference to Amonon. It, including his own father's cartouches, Akhenaten's actions earned him no favor with the Egyptian people. Following his death, references to the king were demolished. Much as he had demolished earlier references to Amon, unlike most ancient Egyptian pharaohs, the people of Egypt seemed to be determined to erase the memory of the ruler who had tried to force his own brand of religion. So who is Ra Ra is the sun god of Egypt. Many people call him Ra, but the correct pronunciation is Re, that's why his name is also written as Re. He is considered the father of gods, and was the most important and worshipped king of gods. Ra is usually depicted with the body of a human and the head of a falcon. The sun god, the sun was first worshipped as Horus, later as Ra. He is associated with the midday sun, other deities represent other positions of the sun. The sun was the primary element of life in ancient Egypt and represented light, warmth, growth. This is why sun deities were very important in ancient Egypt. Father of Gods Ra is known as the father and grandfather of gods. He rose in the beginning of creation and spit forth the first godly couple. Shu symbolizes air, tefnut, moisture, they bore. Gib, earth, nut, sky, Ra bore several other offspring. Amongst those was his son, the king, the symbolism of Ra. Ra embodies the Egyptian beliefs of order and truth. In Egyptian mythology, he signifies the cycle of birth, life and death. That's why he is known as the father of creation. Ra is perpetually resurrected in the mornings. He rides across the sky during the day and at sunset he is swallowed by the goddess Nut, also known as Mary in modern Christianity, only for her to give birth to him in the morning. The most common symbol associated with the ancient Egyptian god Ra is the sun. He is depicted in a wealth of symbols, but they all are formed around the theory of Ra representing creation and nature. Most of the symbols were shared with other solar deities, mainly Horus also known as Jesus. In Egyptian art, Ra is usually seen as a man with a pharaoh's crown on his head and a UFO disc above him. Ra is often depicted with a falcon head, just like Horus, the winged sun disc also known as flying glowing disc. The primary symbol of Ra, a very ancient symbol that signifies the son of righteousness with healing in his arms. It also represents the creative elements of nature. Wedjet, also known as Achat, Eye of Ra, Eye of Horus, is a sacred eye symbol, see below, Phoenix. Ra rose in the shape of a phoenix from the primordial ocean of Nun and landed on a single mound of dry land and then let the sun's rays shine forth. Lotus Flower Ra formed himself from the chaos of Nun and emerged from the lotus petals. The ancient Egyptians have numerous gods in their culture and they feel that the gods walk among them, invisibly on earth. Ra is the most central god of the Egyptian pantheon and doesn't dwell on earth, but watches his children and kingdom from the sky. At sunrise, Ra is a young boy called Kipri. Midday he becomes the falcon-headed man and at sunset he becomes an elder called Adam. He travels in a sunboat and had to be defended against Ape, a giant serpent that tries to eat the sunboat every night. Ra changed greatly over the course of ancient Egyptian history. In dynastic times he was merged with Horus and became Riharagdi. He then ruled over sky, earth and underworld and was the creator of the world. Ra developed through the second and fifth dynasty. In the fourth dynasty, pharaohs were known as sons of Ra. Ra was upheld the most in the fifth dynasty where he became more associated with the king than the pharaoh. Kings erected pyramids that were considered solar temples and aligned them with the rising and setting sun in his honor. During the Middle Kingdom, Ra was more and more combined with other deities like Osiris and Ammon in the New Kingdom. Ra became more and more popular, which resulted in a kind of monotheism. The worship of Ra as a religious and cultural figure has significantly changed over years due to the rise of Christianity, the Eye of Ra. The name has changed over generations but the meaning is still the same. The Eye of Ra was once known as the Eye of Horus or Wedjat. It is an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection and the divine royal power. 
It is a powerful force that is linked with the fierce heat of the sun and was passed on to each pharaoh. The eye is considered the all-seeing eye and protects the king and thwart off evil. This Egyptian symbol appears on the great seal of the United States, and on every United States dollar bill. The eye within the pyramid represents Ra awaiting rebirth. Even though he is enclosed in the pyramid his soul remained alive and watchful, as indicated by the open eye. The ancient pyramid texts state, Perfect is the eye of Horus. I have delivered the eye of Horus, the shining one, the ornament of the eye of Ra, the father of the gods, Horus. Horus the Egyptian falcon god is known by many names throughout Egypt, also known as Jesus in modern Christianity, however he is most commonly associated with the falcon. He is believed to have been the son of Osiris, also known as Mary in modern Christianity and Isis the goddess of magic. One of the most well-known symbols associated with Egypt is the Eye of Horus, which symbolized power. Throughout the history of the Egyptian nation there are many references in mythology to several different Egyptian gods known as Horus. Not just Horus the Egyptian falcon god, the first of these ancient Egyptian gods known as Horus appears in the early days of the Egyptian kingdom. It is believed that the first Horus, sometimes referred to as Horus the Elder, was a falcon god and creator god also known as Jehovah in modern Christianity. In the earliest stories regarding this deity, he was thought to be the son of Ra and that the eyes of the first Horus were the sun and the moon. In later stories, references to a Horus Egyptian falcon god indicate he was the son of Gibbon Nut, the mother of God also known as Asmari in modern Christianity. The most popular version regarding one of the many Horus deities states he was in fact the son of Osiris also known as Mary the mother of God in modern Christianity. Horus may have been known in many forms, but he was always associated with the same symbol, that of the falcon. In almost all variations, Horus was known as the patron saint of the existing pharaoh. In fact, the pharaoh was often referred to as the living Horus, the eye of Horus. Horus the Egyptian falcon god is often associated with the Eye of Horus, a symbol that is prominent throughout Egypt even until modern times. Ancient Egyptian crocodile also known as reptilian gods are quite prominent within Egyptian mythology. Subic is one of the most well-known Egyptian gods associated with the reptilian crocodile. He is usually seen either completely as a crocodile or as a combination between human form and reptilian, symbolizing the strength of the Egyptian pharaohs.